I took a bit of a break, but I am officially back. Let's talk about the d littered one, some February Jordan releases, and of course, the news on the Kobe 10. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. The NBA All-Star Game is right around the corner and it looks like Adidas Hoop is ramping up early with a preview of the d Little One New York. Now, this has not been officially announced as an All-Star release, but most people think that it will be. I like the mix of the black and white on the upper and the texture seems to really take the headline spot with these choice of materials. Of course, Adidas includes some of Dame's 4 Bar Friday lyrics on the insole, which only makes sense when you speak about New York and their love for hip hop. Now, no official release date, but stay close and I will update you as soon as I hear more. February, like December, is packed when it comes to sneaker releases. A lot of that has to do with All-Star, though the sneakers that you see here aren't necessarily tied to that event. Jordan has the black and red Air Jordan 11 low that's gonna be dropping, though I'll be honest, I'm not too keen on the red liner. I kinda wish that it was black. Um, there's also the Hornets Air Jordan 5, those are very clean, and then the Oreo Air Jordan 4, which I showed you as part of the remastered collection. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link down below for you to check that out. And finally, there's another Air Jordan 5 that doesn't exactly have a nickname yet. Now, these were all revealed at a Foot Locker Europe event last week, which makes them pretty official in my eyes. There is no word if they're gonna actually release here in the US, but we'll find out because they're supposed to release in February. And finally, the Kobe 10. Leaked images of this shoe have been all over the web and it looks like Nike is now gonna start making things official starting either tomorrow or on the 31st. The reason I say that is because they mentioned 10 days, 10 symbols, 10 ways Kobe always strikes with precision. It says the sum, a key word there, of those parts will be revealed on the 31st, which makes me think they're gonna start revealing parts tomorrow. I would think that they would reveal the parts before they reveal the shoe. It only makes sense to me. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I guess we'll just have to see. As for the question of the video, let's keep talking Kobe. Which version of the Kobe 9 did you like the best? The high, the fly knit low, or the engineered mesh though? For me, keep it totally honest, it was the fly knit low. Now you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. As for what I'm rocking today, it is happens to be the Kobe 9 fly knit high as opposed to the low, which I said I just really like. Um, shout out to Nightwing because when these came out, they didn't have them at the store and they sold out online. And so I actually hit up Nightwing because they had them at a store by him and he caught these for me. So appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Anyway, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on this channel. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks, and as always, I appreciate you guys. All right, I'll see you soon. Peace. I thought I would ever That's happening. So here we go, guys. Should I cut? Should I cut now? Or just leave it go? We're just gonna get sound out here. Yeah.